What we're thinking here is since it rained a little bit last night, we actually own this hopper right here. It's about 900 bushel hopper roughly, give or take. We never really figured it out exactly, but somewhere in that range. Well, the location's not necessarily a great location and we're thinking about moving it straight over to where other bins are, right in line with other hoppers. But the cement is actually cracked and broke out, so we can't use this slab. But we need to measure it and then go over and start building a form for it. So me and my dad were talking, we're not gonna pour a full slab. We're gonna do exactly what we did on those other bins over there. Just drill pillars in the ground, set up a little form and then uh, pour them full and then put some rods of rebar in them. And then when we get a chance, we'll move that bin over and drill some holes, bolt it down on it. That means I need this digger Derek right here and I need to have that wonderful, beautiful device that drills in the hole. That's a two inch bit and it's gonna do wonders. This digger Derek made by Alltech has been awesome. So glad we were able to put this truck together a couple years ago and uh, it's been very, very handy. Let's get to work. Now on this bit here, you have carbide little teeth that help uh, scratch the ground and dig. Two of them are broke off and I found a few more that uh, I ordered a while back and got them and I just replaced them. So now it's ready to dig. Let's go dig, dig some holes, huh? Okay, this is what we're looking at doing. We have all these hoppers right here and it's nice, wonderful line. Well, we have a great spot right here to put that hopper that's way over there, right over here. That means we're gonna drill some holes. We'll have to mark it all off, kind of figure out what we're gonna do for each pillar and then we're gonna drill down. Those ones we drilled down to like uh, almost four feet deep to get down to the frost level and we put a lot of concrete in those. Well, this bin isn't quite as heavy so we won't drill quite down as far, but then whatever cement they have left over or they'll order just a little bit more, we'll fill these holes up, flatten them out on top and then when we're ready, we can bring that bin over and set it on. It's gonna be pretty awesome. So let's just start figuring this out and let's get our spacing right because if we don't get it right, Oh, let's not think about that right now. So yeah, let's go ahead and get to work. We got the holes drilled. Now we just have to get in there with a shovel, dig out the excess dirt, and then we'll make the forms to level it out on top so we can screed it. If you ever saw the video on the 9370, those nice wonderful stacks, we still have that cardboard tubing that is a foot diameter. So we're gonna chop that up and we'll use that as the top part that we can screw it across. On these other bins, we actually used uh, two by fours and made just square pillars and flattened it out and called it good and it looks good. But we're making progress and this is looking good. All right, let's get back to work. This Digger Derrick is so awesome. We've used it for so many different things as just a crane. We got a nice wonderful nylon rope as a winch on the top. This is a pretty sweet setup for us at least. And it's just got a 427 gasser in it. It would be nice to have a diesel, but the winter time that thing starts. Diesels are a little harder to start, but anyways, it's a good truck. We like it. Pretty soon they're gonna be putting up those bins over here, which is gonna be awesome, but I don't know exactly what date. It hasn't been determined yet, but it's gonna be soon. What I wanna do though, is right over here is a big old cement pad that used to have gas compressor uh, units on top, and there's a ton of cement right here. And we have these three bins that are kind of just in the middle of nowhere. The problem that we're dealing with is eventually we wanna add, you see all those big bins there in a row? We wanna keep adding bins all the way along that will connect over to, as you can see over here, the hopper bins that we have. Well, the problem is, is these bins and that cement pad are in the way. We wanna move these little bins and we wanna move that pad. This pad has a whole bunch of barrels on it, a whole bunch of junk and miscellaneous things that's just been dropped off throughout the years. I'm gonna take those barrels, move them out of the way, just start cleaning up stuff, hauling stuff to the dump that is, well, just trash and junk. Organizing this so when we get a chance, we can start digging up the cement foundation of some sort. I don't know what you want to call it. Then we can move those bins. Then that way, the semis can drive right through and you can take the grain auger and you can move it back and forth without having this massive mess here in the way. I want to organize things. I want to make it more convenient and just more pleasing to the eye. And we got to be good uh, caretakers of our land and also the stuff that we have. When you just get in a rush and you throw something somewhere, soon it starts getting cluttered and messy and just kind of looks nasty. So I want to go get and get this cleaned up 
and uh, that means the Fummins and me are going to be best friends. I figured right back here next to the iron pile this is a great location to put a couple barrels. There's a little bit of room right here. The wind's not going to blow them all over. That'll be a great spot. So I'm just going to go ahead and dump as much as I can out of the truck, make a big pile, go over, get more, and then I'll start shuttling them over. Or I'll just shuttle them one at a time. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. It's amazing on how many barrels we have over there. I didn't think we had that many, but we do. Between these bins over here, it's a great place so the wind doesn't take them and carry them off to the field to the neighbors, because they'll get mad at us. Yeah, so that's what I'm putting there. I brought the skid steer over with the bucket and the forks that are right over here, right behind me, right there. Anyways, I'm gonna move this auger out of the way. I don't need it. The miscellaneous things on this pile, like scrap pieces, I'm gonna move over to the scrap iron and then the pieces that I wanna save, I'll try to figure out where I wanna keep that stuff and organize it. And then all the scrap stuff that needs to be hauled to the dump, I'll put in another pile. And then at some point we can take the front end loader and the bucket or the dump truck and haul that stuff down to the dump. Just clean this all up so we can get the backhoe in and start digging up all this uh, wonderful cement pieces that we don't need anymore. So we can get rid of all this clutter and it make it that much more pleasing to the eye and more accessible for the trucks and augers and uh, make our lives a little easier. So yeah, let's get to work. So if you look over there, right next to where we put that uh, one bin, there's two 15 foot hopper bottoms that actually used to be right here. We moved them, what, two years, three years ago? And these cement pads kind of look like small teepees. They're all cracked upward. And that's why we had to move them because we were afraid of those bins collapsing and so forth. I'm gonna just go ahead and take the forks and the skid steer, pick up all these slabs of cement. They're not very thick, pile them in one spot. And then that way we can dig a spot here to pull everything else in and go from there. So the idea is we're gonna take this digger derrick, hook onto the top of that thing, lift it up and put it on the trailer and then we can transport it on the trailer over. It's a small enough bin, it's easy to handle and uh, I think it'll work out pretty well. They do have two hooks on the top of the bin and uh, so I think we can get this done. Let's see what happens.
we need to remove this bit so it's out of the way. That way I could use the upper and inner boom because this actually has uh, two sections that will extend out. So if I need to go taller, I can. And then that way this thing's not in the way. So we'll take it off. Plus we don't really need it right now. It's amazing on how many times we use this Digger Derrick out here. There's just so many things that you wouldn't think you'd use a crane for, but in our situation, because we're always trying to modify and change and do things differently, we use it a lot, which has been fantastic. But it looks like it's high enough that it can actually lift it up and swing it over and put it on the trailer. We will find out. So we're gonna go ahead and use, put these right here up on top of the bin. That way we can anchor the chain to it and then it'll uh, hook to the bin and it won't go anywhere, hopefully. But I gotta crawl up that ladder and hook one side and then move to the other side and hook the other side. Faja, he's trying to take off all the bolts on the bottom of the legs and make it look easy. Just wanting to find this re-bolting. One of them's uh, really rusted on there so I think I'm gonna have to go get something to really reef on it. I don't think I have the wrench to do it, so I think I'll take off. I went ahead and hooked it up. Didn't show you guys that because I didn't want you to worry, but that means we can start putting some pressure on it, start lifting it on. We got a bar to help pry the legs off those bolts down below just in case they're sticky. And uh, let's see what happens, guys. Yeah, I'm ready. They say, from my understanding, it should hold about 10,000 or should lift about 10,000 pounds at the perfect angle. This is probably not the perfect angle and since you have it extended out on the top, it probably can't hold that much. But the bin does not weigh that much. It's probably, I don't know, maybe 2,000 pounds. He's gonna back up to it. The idea we're gonna try to do is either lay it down or we'll just keep it standing straight up and bolt it or like tie it down to the trailer. We'll have to decide on that. Well, that worked out pretty good. We got it on the trailer. We'll strap it down, unhook the boom, wing it up on the tra a truck, and then we'll head on over and we'll try to stand it up and hopefully everything goes as smooth as it did on here. So yeah, I think we're making progress. I'm happy. I hope you guys are too. That's sweet. It's on the trailer and it looks like a rocket, doesn't it? Before we set it up, we should get a bunch of Mentos and a bunch of Coca-Cola and turn that into a rocket and see how fast that 5.9 Cummins can go. What do you guys think? If you guys supply the Mentos and Coca-Cola, I would be willing to sacrifice that bin for that. But that's, that's a lot of Coca-Cola and Mentos. Now we need to use it for bin storage. We stopped by the shop real quick. There's a light pole that's attached to the bin here and we figured it'd be easier to just remove it now since we don't have power over at the Quonset. There's no need to really have that on there. It's just gonna be a nuisance. So we'll remove that and then uh, bring it on over and set it up. We have the uh, hopper over here now, transported uh, to our bin site. Uh, we did pillars, drilled holes in the ground, put uh, cement and rebar, drilled uh, anchor bolts and mounted them right to the ground. We've got these pillars here already uh, done, as you can see. We're gonna go ahead and we'll just repeat what we just did. We'll have the, the boom truck with the back end pointing here. I'll drive the trailer with the hopper bin alongside. We'll pick it up. We can fill it with some good stuff. Maybe coffee beans. What do you think about that? All right, let's get her done. That worked out pretty good. What we're doing right now is we're trying to line up all the legs to the concrete that we put down. Then what we'll do is we'll pick one that we want to keep, we'll drill that one, put a stud in it and anchor it, and then we'll go around and kind of fudge and move how we want to get them centered and so forth. The legs are actually not quite all centered and it's just the way the bin is. We're gonna pre-drill one and then we'll lock it down and kind of go around and get it anchored. It's basically done though. That went fairly smooth if you ask me. Well, you should ask me. Go ahead, ask me. 
That's sweet. Seeing that bin along with those other bins, things are just getting more organized over here and cleaned up and that's what I like. I want things to be very accessible, smooth, easy, and clean. And uh, every little bit keeps helping that out. Three out of the six uh, legs here actually have smaller pillars and you can't get the hammer drill into pre-drill where the stud's gonna go. So we lifted the bin, turned it, put it on the ground, drilled out the ones we wanted, and then we put the bin back on. And what we have to do is because the bin kind of flexes and warps, we have to take a strap and pull the legs over to center up with the concrete. And that's what he's doing right now. Once it's centered, we'll drill the rest of them, bolt it down, unhook the boom crane, and we should be good to go. I think he's pretty happy. Doesn't, yeah. he, doesn't he look happy? For those that are not familiar with what these are, it looks like a standard bolt with a hole in it and you got this pin. What happens is when you drill into the concrete, you need a way of anchoring the bolt in there. So what they have is they've got a cutout in the back or bottom, as you can see, where it can flare out. So as you put the bolt in, you shove the pin inside, it'll actually wedge the bottom out. And then when you tighten up the bolt on top, it'll actually sink it up into the concrete. So then you won't have it pulling out. There's multiple different ways of buying these. You can have different versions, but they basically all have similar concept. You want to expand the bottom into the concrete and then you'll have a successful anchor. So as you can see, I'll put it in the hole. I'll take a hammer. Make sure it's all the way in. And once that's done, you just take this off and you put your washers on and tighten it up and you should be good to go. Now he's not over tightening it. He's just gonna snug it down a little bit and then we'll actually take a wrench and we'll just kind of uh, just lightly feel how tight it is. You don't wanna get it too tight because you don't wanna pull the whole entire anchor out of this concrete. Otherwise you'll have, uh, you'll have to pre-drill a bigger hole and put a bigger one in and we don't wanna do that. But that was pretty successful. We just have to disconnect the top, uh, fold up the boom. I think we're good. It only took us about two hours roughly, so that was pretty good time. I thought it was gonna take a little longer because usually you run into some hiccups, but for the most part, I went very, very smooth. Now we got five wonderful bins there for seed. Thanks to the Cummins and that trailer and the boom truck and his help and Kobe, we did it. I can now check that off the list and we'll move on to the next thing. And the next thing, <laughs> I don't know, we'll figure out something. By the way guys, if you would be very gracious, if you wouldn't mind to click the like button or the dislike button, whatever one you wanna do, and maybe leave a comment, we would really appreciate that. These kind of things we're able to share with you guys and let you guys go along with the journey. We appreciate you guys being a part of Welker Farms. But thanks for watching guys, God bless.